The human body literally glows, emitting a visible light in extremely small quantities at levels that rise and fall with the day. Past research has shown that the body emits visible light 1,000 times less intense than the levels which can be seen with the naked eye. In fact, virtually all living creatures emit very weak light. To learn more about this faint visible light, scientists in Japan employed extraordinarily sensitive cameras capable of detecting single photons. Five healthy male volunteers in their 20s were placed bare-chested in front of the cameras in complete darkness in light-tight rooms for 20 minutes every three hours. The researchers found the body glow rose and fell over the day, with its lowest point at 10 a.m. and its peak at 4 p.m., dropping gradually after that. These findings suggest there is light emission linked to the body clock, most likely due to how metabolic rhythms fluctuate over the course of the day. Faces glowed more than the rest of the body. This might be because faces are more tanned than the rest of the body since they get more exposure to sunlight. Dr. Mercola's comments? Gone are the days when words like life energy and aura were relegated to a few books in a tiny section of some new age store. Today, scientists across the world are investigating the energies that propel, and likely even rule, life itself, and hence, have a profound impact on your health. Eastern medical traditions have operated on this premise for thousands of years, but Western medicine, in its myopic focus on dissected parts, has been slow to adopt these ancient truths. There is an emerging trend of clinicians who recognize that a far more powerful approach to healing is one that is based on physics and not on chemistry. Many natural health experts believe that your body is not only made up of tissue, blood vessels, and organs. It's also composed of energy, or qi, as it's called in traditional Chinese medicine. This energy is circulated through your body along specific meridians, and when points on your skin that correspond to certain meridians are manipulated, the energy circulation and your internal organs are affected. Acupuncture is one well-known modality used to manipulate the flow of your meridians, but there are others. The term energy medicine and modalities such as meridian tapping techniques have become more and more widespread, even though conventional medicine still largely ignores it. But your body is also surrounded by light or energy. As mentioned in the article, imaging of ultra-weak spontaneous photon emission from human body displaying diurnal rhythm, earlier research has confirmed that your body emits light that is 1,000 times less intense than what your naked eyes are sensitive to. Some people, however, are able to see this emitted light, or aura, and some can even distinguish colors. What's really interesting about this study is that they discovered these light emissions appear to be linked to your body clock and the rhythmic fluctuations of your metabolism over the course of the day. This suggests that you could detect medical conditions with the use of highly light-sensitive cameras. If you can see the glimmer from the body's surface, you could see the whole body condition, said researcher Hitoshi Okamura, a circadian biologist at Kyoto University in Japan. There are other devices that can accomplish a similar feat already, such as electrodermal screening, which measures your electrical skin resistance to gain information about your qi flow. If an electrodermal screening finds that certain meridian points are out of balance, there are numerous non-invasive ways, such as massage therapy, herbal medicine, and homeopathy to bring them back into homeostasis. Others have explained the existence of light and energy around your body in terms of a biophoton field. Dr. Dietrich Klinghart discusses this field in The Five Levels of Healing, 
which is based on a healing model developed some 12,000 years ago. This energetic model for health has influenced Tibetan medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, and Ayurvedic medicine as well. The existence of the biophoton field was scientifically proven by Dr. Fritz Albert Popp in 1974. Your physical health is dependent not only on what goes on inside of your body, but is also interconnected with and dependent on other non-physical levels of energy, such as the energy surrounding your body, called the biophoton field. In highly simplistic terms, your biophoton field can be viewed as a highly sophisticated computer that processes, stores, and retrieves information that is then used to regulate your biological processes. It is known in biology that every cell in your body has over 100,000 biochemical reactions per second, all of which must be carefully timed and sequenced with each other. Many, mostly European, scientists have investigated the organizing principle behind this sophisticated dance. Dr. Pop also proved that biophotons originate from your DNA and that they are laser-like in nature. He developed the biophoton theory to explain their biological role and the ways in which they help control your biochemical processes. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is for people who are always looking to learn new things and broaden their horizons. This platform has thousands of classes from different categories that will provide you with a lifetime worth of experience and knowledge in such short periods of time that there's no excuse not to try it out. There is a class I highly recommend called Designing Data Visualizations, Getting Started with Processing. The course was created by Nicholas Felton, one of the lead designers of Facebook's timeline and co-founder of Datum. This class walks through the process of investigating a large amount of data, using processing to project onto a map and polishing the visual appearance in Illustrator. It's a great introduction to processing and provides a data set for you to get started with right away, making this class perfect for anyone interested in design, data, geometry, or minimalism. You've got to take this class. And because Skillshare is today's video sponsor, it's totally free. They're offering you one month of premium Skillshare absolutely free, if you click the link in the description. The DNA inside each cell in your body vibrates at a frequency of several billion hertz, which is, unfortunately, the same range at which modern cell phone communication systems also work. This vibration is created through the coil-like contraction and extension of your DNA, which occurs several billion times per second. And every time it contracts, it squeezes out one single biophoton, a light particle. That photon contains all the information on everything going on in your DNA at the moment. One single biophoton can carry more than four megabytes of information and relays this information to other biophotons it crosses in the biophoton field outside your body. All the photons that are emitted from your body communicate with each other in this highly structured light field that surrounds your body. This light field also regulates the activity of your metabolic enzymes. This corresponds nicely with the findings in the study above that show your light field ebbs and flows along with your metabolic rhythm. The information transfer on biophotons is bidirectional, which means your DNA sends information out on a photon, and on the same photon, the information from all of the biophotons from your body is broadcast back to your cells and to your tubulin, which is light conductive molecules in your connective tissue. The tubulin, in turn, receives the information carrying light impulse and conducts it at the speed of light throughout your body, where it is translated inside each cell into activating or inactivating certain metabolic enzymes. A fascinating alternative practice that Dr. Klinghart has started using, based on this premise, is to use tools that work with light to influence your biophoton field in beneficial ways. 
For example, transmitting the information of nutrients in the form of light into your biophotons field can affect your body in the same way as eating the actual nutrient. Biophoton research also puts a whole new spin on the impact of environmental toxins. Mercury, for example, destroys your tubulins at extremely low concentrations. Remember, tubulins are the light conductive molecules in your connective tissues, so by disrupting these all-important light transmissions from your biophoton field to your cells, to your metabolic enzymes, Mercury effectively disconnects the intelligent force that organizes your biochemistry. Biophoton research also explains the underlying principles of why it's so vital to eat a diet of mostly raw food. As you know, without the sun, it is virtually impossible for most life forms to exist. For example, we now know that without appropriate sun exposure, you will become deficient in vitamin D which will have very far-ranging consequences for your health. Vitamin D influences at least two to 3,000 genes that we know of, and without sufficient amounts of vitamin D, your body becomes susceptible to a staggering amount of diseases. But you can absorb sun energy via your food, as well as through your skin, although this should not be confused with being able to alter your vitamin D status. Dr. Johanna Budwig from Germany has stated that live foods are electron-rich and act as high-powered electron donors and solar resonance fields in your body to attract, store, and conduct the sun's energy in your body. The greater your store of light energy, the greater the power of your overall electromagnetic field, and consequently, the more energy is available for healing and maintenance of optimal health. Every living organism emits biophotons or low-level luminescence, and the higher the level of light a cell emits, the greater its vitality and the potential for the transfer of that energy to the individual who eats it. Hence, the more light a food is able to store, the more nutritious it is. Naturally grown fresh vegetables, for example, and sun-ripened fruits are rich in light energy. The capacity to store biophotons is, therefore, a measure of the quality of your food. I firmly believe it's only a matter of time before these truths will become common scientific and medical knowledge. You can help speed things up by sharing what you know with your family and friends.